Welcome to this part two of the world edit tutorial. I just decided to make this part because um, I forgot some of the commands that could be could be useful. So I'm going to go over them. So so once again, back over into a um, area. Just a plain flat area. And from what you learned in the last video, I'm going to go ahead and set set my first position. With slash slash one. And I'm just gonna go over here, go up a little bit my slash slash two now let's move over here for just a second now um what you want to do for this command um we're just going to start by setting it with the command and, uh, we'll just do stone actually i'm going to do planks because it looks nicer Now, what I'm going to do for here is not too difficult. The command is RPL slash slash RPL stands for replace. If you want to, you can type out all of the place like that, but it's much easier to just do that. With now the item ID that's already there, which is five, you can replace it to something. How about turn it into stone. Make sure there's no comma, like making mixture blocks, there's a space there. So, now we're just going to do that. And all the blocks in that selection have been replaced. Now, I'm just going to erase this real quick. Now I'm going to um, go to proper. Now there's a specific command that I want to show you that can be very useful if you have unlocked the dropper map, which I am. shouldn't be too tricky. I'm going to change into a block that I can see. Now, it's like when you go through dropper before you drop down. Put a block there. Stand on top of it. Do position one. Now, right there. Here and do position two. Now we're at cuboid. The command is cuboid. Okay. Now cuboid is. I'm trying to talk here. Slash. Slash. ID. Now before you can use this command, you're going to want to take a look at the um, positions that you took. Um, let's see, first position. Um, hold on just a moment. Okay, 
Now let's get back into what I was trying to say. Let's see here. Second position, first position is negative 610, 251, and such. I'm just going to go ahead and write this down so that um, I don't forget. And I'll just be right here in just a few minutes. It looks like it is negative. 614-251 Negative 746 Negative 746 And the next one is Negative 614 Negative 614 251 And negative 746. Now what you want to do is to type slash slash void just like before and then you're going to want to type in those numbers. So the first number was, or er, the coordinates for each position was negative 6, 14, 251 negative um, 46 okay sorry my bad negative 746 next now you're just going to type in the next set of numbers right next to it Oops, negative 6 um, actually 6 Negative 746. And I guess that's how to use it. Now, I'm just going to put down a sign. Okay. Simple sign. Now you're going to type action. Action. This is how many and multiple um, commands and plugins can work together here for just a second. Now you're going to type in the command. Actually, yeah, it's slash slash cuboid. And then we're going to type in the coordinates. I actually forget what the coordinates were. Just to make sure, just to double check, 614, Okay, yep, the coordinates are correct. So. I'll be right back as soon as I finish typing in the coordinates. Now, before we tap this block to get the command, we're going to add another, excuse me, another command. This one's pretty simple. Set and, I don't know, we'll just set it to stone to make it easy. Nah, do that instead. Okay, actually I, f I forgot to type action again, my bad. I'll fix this. Action, type action, 
before you type the command. Now you're going to type set file. But now if you do that, that's how you reset the box. Now to um go and type action one more time. Now you're actually going to set it to zero. Because zero is the error and it will make it disappear. So when you tap, it will disappear and you will fall into the dropper.